Good morning, everyone. Sonia Asaf here, health coach and chef. Wanted to talk to you today <laughs> about incorporating what turns you on, what excites you, what you're passionate about. Uh, and I'm specifically relating to your vocation or your how how are you, however you're earning money. Let's let's put it that way to take care of yourself and your family or whatever. It's super important, right? I mean, you can't you can't go to YouTube or turn on the TV or if you're in the health and wellness arena like I am. Everybody's always talking about uh finding your passion um and doing what's important to you. So, I'm not going to take that perspective at the moment. What I do want to talk to you literally about is the fact that we need to, we literally need to follow our dopamine, right? Uh, it is super hard. It's hard enough for us to kind of do what we have to do, much less push back against something that has zero, zero value to us. <clears throat> so we're not talking about doing laundry, right? We all, we all know that we need to do laundry because we need to wear clean clothes. But we're, we're talking about something that is so fundamental to your sense of peace, your sense of purpose, your sense of belonging, your sense of contribution. All those things are super, super important, right? Stack on top of that, the fact that we just need to be really excited about what we're doing, right? I think that's a blessing, to be honest with you. If we choose to listen to it, if we choose to listen to it and honor that. And this is what I'm going to suggest for all those folks out there that are in, that are earning money in ways to, that support themselves, that they, that it's literally killing their soul, literally killing their soul. I want you to start taking steps to figure that out, right? Either way. That's, I mean, so being in that situation isn't sustainable. You're going to either find a way of sabotaging, uh, what else, what else, you're going to, you're going to sabotage yourself, number one, and you're going to make yourself sick. <laughs> um, and I don't want that for you at all. And I'm hoping that you don't want that for yourself. I'm assuming that because you're here that you don't, there's tons of steps that you can take from taking different kind of inventories, career paths to see to help you get clear on your strengths. So there's, I mean, you can do anything from a Myers-Briggs to getting a, going to the library and getting what colors your parachute. There's just endless ways that if you're unclear of what your next step is to get a little bit more clear. Um, I know one of the things that I do or have done in the past um, is really just kind of take a snapshot of the things that I've been told that I do really well because I don't always have a really good perspective on myself, right? So I, I'll, I'm, I'll incorporate, you know, past feedback from partners, from friends, from bosses, from, you know, coworkers, that sort of thing. And what I found that when I've done that, and I, and I, I need to often write things down just because it helps, it just helps gives, give me clarity. So I'll put down the broad strokes. What are, what are my strengths, right? What are, and then I'll look at also, what do I enjoy? And I'm writing all this stuff down, bullet points, however you need to do it. So what are my strengths? What do I enjoy? And then I look back. I mean, I'm fortunate in that I'm older, you know, I'm not 18. So I do have a history that I can look back at professional and personal environments that I put myself in that I've found um, enjoyment out of. And I look at those and I say, okay, well, what are, what are their themes? Are there themes? And there are, there are definitely overarching themes uh, to that. So these are, I'm just, these are just a couple of techniques to just get you a little bit more clear on your next step. It may take, you know, you may not wake up tomorrow and know what that major step is. It may not be a major step. Um, 
but I, I want to encourage you to start doing things like this because for us specifically, we need to have purpose and we need to feel good about what we're doing and we need to be engaged. We need to be engaged and all of those things that I just mentioned help us to be engaged, right? Um, so you don't need to go out and quit your job. Uh, I did, <laughs> but that's a long story. You don't need to do that uh, unless you want to, right? Um, but it's super important that you choose to honor who you are because it's hard enough, right? To Life can be hard enough and, and we have our own challenges and those are hard enough. So let's just be kinder to ourselves and make some choices that really add to our life purpose and how we want to show up in the world for ourselves and for others. Okay, guys, love you.